Hello my fellow Lakers newcomers and passerbys and welcome back to Scum. We are at patch 0.6. We are almost at the full release of the game. We are over halfway there. Isn't that really cool? I think that's pretty darn cool. Well, this update focused mostly on metabolism. There was a lot to go to talk about, so um, I'm just going to try to make it as short as possible because uh, it is a lot. So first off, this is your new character creation screen. Um, everything's basically the same. You can basically move your strength left to right, constitution left to right, uh, but obviously you can only have on average three points in each of them, um, or you can take away from another one and add more to another thing. So I'm going to put these all back at three. Um, also, uh, wee wee size and breast size doesn't matter anymore. It just doesn't do anything for you at all. It's just a size thing and it can grow over time. So the longer you live on the island, the longer it grows. Um, but it only counts like, so if you die, it all shrinks back down and you have to restart. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go over. So, oh, wait, I kind of, that's so weird. Okay, so as you can see here, your strength affects your brawling rifles, melee weapons, handguns, archery. Um, nothing new there. Constitution, running and endurance, dexterity, thievery, driving, demolition, throwing, and motorcycling. Yes, they added motorcycles to the games, and those are two separate things. Driving, motorcycle, driving is two different things. Um, and then intelligence, skills, awareness, sniping, camouflage, survival, engineering, and medical, which is also new, um, which is all your healing stuff. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make this character randomized and go on. So since there is so much to talk about, um, the first thing we're going to go over is the metabolism. This is what the update was all about. So there's a bunch of new metabolism things all together. So first off, you go to the metabolism tab, you have your stats. All right. So these are your base core stats. So you have your uh, strength, constitution, dexterity, and um, intelligence. And each one of these things change uh, over time, except for intelligence. You can't uh, raise intelligence right now. Um, you also can't uh, decrease intelligence, um, but it all, it's all affected by what you eat, what you do, and uh, yada, 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 yada. Um, and then at, right below that, you see all your skills and how much they are up. As you can see, I'm like 10, 20%, and some of them 80 and the others. Uh, they're all randomized because I picked a random on the character creation screen. So all random, as you can see here. Um, then you have your basic info below that. The only thing that really matters is your blood volume, temperature, um, and health, and weight. Uh, everything else is just kind of random and then your performance data is below that so you have this new thing called stamina usage um, stamina usage as you can see uh, I'm gonna try to make it a little uh, high but on the bottom left of my screen you'll see where my stamina thing is there's a little yellow bar right so if it's in a yellow zone I'm not really using much stamina it's not taking too much um, but if I start running it starts to go uh, it starts to go a little bit red that's when I start using stamina as you can see my stamina uh, supply is actually decreasing and that's also when it starts uh, going into something called action difficulty. Depending on how your character is built, depends on how difficult it is for him to do certain actions. Um, so if you look behind, uh, below the stamina usage in the performance data, you'll see resting, passive, effortless, tiring, intense, and exhausting, right? So everything below, uh, everything below effortless is uh, negative stamina usage. Everything effortless and above is is positive stamina usage, right? And it also depends on your weight and all other kinds of like weird things. Um, Below, next to that, you have your gear weight, of course. I have two out of 19 kilograms. Um, walk speed, jog speed, run speed. This is basically your character and what he's able to do and what he's able to carry and what he's not. Overload penalties are right here. So if you have a lacking of uh, energy um, and a lacking of water, you're going to take hits to that. And it's going to affect the whole rest of all this data. So you also have your performance indicators. So your healing speed, blood recovery rate, immune system. If it's all at 100%, it's all at 100%. Uh, performance score right here is at 97 so it's as, as you slowly like and, and it can be affected by other things don't forget guys you can actually put push, push control to actually read all this stuff um and they'll give you a more in-depth uh talk about how everything is affected as well um but yeah this is all affected by your outside environmental changes um you also have your body stats right here uh, so your nutrition absorption speed all down here and then your body mass di distribution again the only thing you really have to worry about is your your blood your freaking uh, fat and muscle as of right now um, organs and everything like that will probably come into play later on but as of right now I don't think it really matters too much uh, except for your fat and, and muscle volume so if you go over to the right side of the screen you will see your energy and water your energy is all your calories and then your water is obviously all the liquids you consume 
um, below that is your macronutrients reserves. So you have your proteins, carbs, fats, fibers, sugars, saturated fats, and alcohol. All right. If they are in the blue, that's good. You're doing very well. If they are in the yellow, eh, they're going to need some work. And if they're in the red, uh, while well, you are, eh, you need better start putting those things up. Okay. Um, and also depending on what you're trying to do, uh, with your character and what what core core skill you're trying to raise, it depends on what you should eat. Um, also, you have body reserves, so your muscle and your fat. If these go completely down, you're going to be muscle deficient and fat deficient, and that's not really good. You're going to have negative penalties, negative penalties to your character. So you want to keep these up as much as possible. Below that, you have your vitamins and minerals, and those are the same thing. Everything you do affects that. Below that, you have your stomach, the intestines, colon, and bladder. Right. So. Obviously, what you consume goes in your stomach, and then it goes into your intestines, and then goes into your colon or bladder, depending on if it's a, a, a water or energy. So that's that's basically that. Um, now let's go over to your health, and you can see your BCU, ICU monitor. Uh, so your heart rates, your oxygen intake, your lung capacity, uh, temperature, and um, and blood pressure and stuff like that. It's all it's all up there. It's the normal stuff. The only thing I'd really worry about is your temperature and uh, uh that's really it really to be honest um and below that you'll see your symptoms of entire body um so here's your entire body you can even click on parts of your body to get closer as of right now there's not really anything that it shows because i am not injured but if i were to be injured it would show my symptom of injury right here in the top left or say if i was lacking energy or water water deficient or if i was cold it would say my symptoms here any kind of symptom any like broken bones anything like that infection it will show up in your symptoms box and there is tons and tons and tons of, of uh a thing so go out there and learn about them um i will do an in-depth video if you guys want to and uh yeah you, you guys uh, if you guys want i'll do an in-depth video on uh all the kinds of symptoms and how those symptoms work and how to cure every single one of those symptoms um but you also have your health here and your blood all right so if you lose too much blood obviously you faint die all that junk um and it takes time for blood to recover so you want to keep your character healthy so that way he can fully recover properly and then you also have the health right here which obviously you all know how that works you get hit you lose health just simple you lose more blood you lose health it's just simple um below that you'll see muscles bones and uh and organs right so basically this will make everything disappear make my organs disappear which you don't see any of my organs but they're in there um they're in there you just can't really see them very well but if i were to press this button it takes away organs if i press this button it'll take away bones and only show my muscles but if i want to take away muscles and just add bones it will just add bones i want to take away the bones and just add organs it'll add that but you can't see them because then my organs have problems as of right now um so then you have the three uh the, the the usr below that which is untreated stabilization recovery if i were to get injured it would go into the untreated phase and then um once that injury um is over and starts to heal it'll go into the stabilization phase as of right now i'm bleeding right now so i just did a big jump i'm bleeding injury it goes to untreated phase uh depending on your injury uh depending on uh, how you uh treat it depends on how fast it actually uh he starts to heal so it says right here it's untreated but soon after it's untreated it'll go into the stabilization phase if i were to tear it back open again it will break open go back to the untreated phase um so if i were to do any strenuous activity um, as of right now, it doesn't really matter because this isn't really that big of a thing. But as you can see, my symptoms also show up here. Uh, so these are all my symptoms, and this is what's going to happen to my body as it as it's in the untreated phase. I'm going to stabilization phase after that, and once it's after the stabilization phase, it goes into the recovery phase, which at that point you're pretty much golden. Um, as you can see here, uh, the symptoms right here. This is also you can also hold the control over the symptoms as well, and you can see that this is causing pain. The overall intensity of the pain is only one percent. It's also really not that bad. It's just unpleasant, um, and I'm also bleeding a little bit. Maybe I got a little cut, you know, like a paper cut. Maybe I stepped on a rock wrong or something. Whatever, it'll heal. We'll go into stabilization and then into the recovery phase. So that is literally all you really need to know about that oh and i guess if you really wanted to you can click on here and if you had anything in your vicinity or inventory to heal that thing you can also treat it and boom and it gets treated also how fast it gets treated how well it's treated and all that stuff also depends on your medical skill so that your medical skill is very very important your medical skill is in your intelligence so yeah that's that's something you guys will have to know uh for later on so right here we have a few different types of revolvers here i'm holding the serpent 357 in my hands right now as you can see here looks very nice look at that all the ammo's in there oh yeah very beautiful this is uh one of the first revolvers uh this takes 357 ammo 
and I can boom, 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 boom. a lot of bullets and then just reload you pop those suckers out the animation looks very nice and pop them back in beautiful beautiful look right here okay that's the serpent 357 this is the peak peacekeeper 38 uh this uh takes 38 special rounds so let's put those suckers in and take a look at the revolver yep looks pretty nice it's smaller a little more a little more uh, fatty in the middle not, not as long as a muzzle either so let's go sounds nice and he's just like that and you put them in and yada yada so that is the peacekeeper um and then we have the magnum 357 and of course that takes 357 ammo so it is uh it's pretty pretty cool so let's go ahead and put that 357 ammo in there the muzzle is a lot longer as you can see Oh, sorry, not the muzzle, the barrel. Sorry, I don't know why I keep calling it muzzle. Um, look at that. It's a lot thicker. It looks almost like a pistol, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Pop. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. And then you have the judge. The judge takes 44 ammo. And this one's a big gun and a very beautiful weapon as well. This is actually my favorite. It's kind of it's kind of on the line with engraved AKs and stuff like that. Um, or they're really cool weapons. So you can see that little engraved judge hammer right there. Oh yeah, and it says judge 44 right on the barrel. Pop, and it's a little louder as well. Actually, actually, I think that kind of sounds the same, but whatever, it is what it is. You can also put attachments on these. So I put a 357 attachment and then the flashlight on here, flashlight on here. I said the flashlight on here. Okay, whatever, put a scope on it now put a flashlight on there okay flashlight doesn't want to go on there but it's supposed to go on there pretty sure you go boom 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 or you can even put a microscope on it whatever you want to do cool stuff cool stuff cool stuff so this is the hell rider update and so we have hell rider vehicles so right here you have the hell rider truck it is a very moddable truck as you can see very modded really cool dirty looks rusty a little bit looks very very nice has a nice little engine in the front like that we did we sadly did not get vehicle vehicle uh modularity in this update um but i'm pretty sure uh when we do this truck is going to be something you can like make rather than just find um, and then we have, also have dirt bikes which are the motorcycles as you can see here and we only have this one and this one this is the hell rider motorcycle this is my favorite um it looks like it's made out of animals animal skin stuff like that let's go ahead and try to start that up oh it's a little weird there we go then we start driving off um, depending on your motorcycle skill, it depends on how fast you go. Um, I don't think I have a full uh, driving skill, but the motorcycles work very well. If you remember when the ATVs came out, they didn't really work super well, but they work. These these ones work like fairly well. I really like it. Um, and there's no bugs or anything that are super super crazy. There are bugs, but nothing super crazy as you can see here. I'm gonna go down this little path over here and see if I can find a rock, um, because you can go over rocks, which is also very nice. I can find one. I don't think there are any, which is pretty sad. If not, you guys can always test it out. You can drive these things through buildings and stuff like that. The doors are big enough. So that's pretty nice. You can take this in your house and like, you know, hang it in your house, you know, just for, just for funsies, I guess, you know, you build ramps and all kinds of stuff. Oop, and I ran into the wall. Pretty cool stuff. Um, there is no, barely any storage space in this bike. Sorry, not no storage space, but barely any. Um, as you can see here, you can fit some stuff in there, but nothing too crazy. So yeah, be very, very careful when you actually go out there and uh, use dirt bikes because, uh, when you ride with dirt bikes, even though you can get inside, you're still going to need a big vehicle to actually load up all that loot. We also have the town of Novo Solo. All right. This is in sector, sector Z4, and it is a pretty big town. It has a police station and a post office. Um, it also has docks and um, lots of places where you can get tools from construction sites, a pizza kiln, I think that's what that is. Uh, pretty, pretty decent stuff. 
it's a nice little loot area it's a town so you know how those work but it's a huge town so almost like this almost like a city but without the skyscrapers and stuff like that so i wouldn't call it the city it's just a very very big town and it's on its own little island with its own little bunker on that island as well and there's also these cool little fishing boat little vehicles right here um that you cannot drive but i hope one day that you'll be able to because that would be freaking sweet you also have the racetrack now this is the motor track the motor track is a place where you can just run around and you know race people little jumps for your motorcycles and you can have some fun there's also uh garages where you can loot some uh some building materials some toolboxes whatever you need for any of that but basically it's just a bunch of garbage and stuff here it's mostly just for funsies just like the boxing cages are uh in the safe zone but uh yeah Come out, check this out. Oh, this is also in Z3, not far from Z4, the other new location. Most of these new locations are on the south side of the map, so gotta fill that place up. You know what I mean? Those are the garages up there, along with one of those office building things as well. Also, last but not least, Z2 and Z1 have a train yard to offer. This place does have mechs, so you do have to be very, very careful. Um, but this place is so big, as you can see, it's it's almost like a city in itself to be honest like a giant town and it's in its in its own right in this place oh my god i can't even explain how humongous this place is trains have various uh various loot items mostly garbage and trash and building material but you can find some weapons here and there as well um man this place is just huge for scrap metal like i mean geez if you're gonna build scrap base or anything like that this would be the place to do it train yard is just humongous so big i mean the trains there are no drivable trains as of right now either so maybe one day but just not today i don't know how to explain it um oh and uh, another thing to note there is also these power lines that extend all the way through the map you will run into these power lines it makes it kind of fills the blank areas in the game and it looks very very nice also a new worthy thing to note is um uh, depending on what's going on with your body uh when it comes to your health some things can start happening as of right now i am going to shed this and this and my pants and my socks and my shoes clothes it's all my clothes period i'm gonna shed all that and as you can see i am very cold there is frost all around my my screen this also happens when you are very hot but with a different animation and when you are bleeding with a different animation as well as screen animation as you can see it even shows that in my body i'm cold and right here is, this is my the pain levels i am being i'm bleeding injury as well i got hit by a puppet before i got here but that doesn't matter anyways if you guys want me to go more in depth with this i will go ahead and do that so just go ahead and comment below and uh let me know and i really do hope you guys do enjoy your day and i am out